Hackers have leaked over 2,000 documents linked to billionaire George Soros and his uh, grant-making organization, Open Society Foundation. The papers expose the group's ongoing attempts to influence political processes in Europe, in Russia, other parts of the world as well. Here's Guy in H. Chichikan. Leaked documents from George Soros's Open Society Foundations show persistent efforts by the organization to influence the political process in Europe. To reach out to European voters, the organization has funded local advocacy groups, social media projects, and journalists. Here's an example. Over $130,000 went to a project by a group called EU Observer. This project uses professional news reporting to foster debate on how open society values are under stress in the run-up to the European elections. EU Observer recruited experienced local journalists to visit campaign events, conduct interviews and solicit high-level op-eds in 16 countries. While the Soros organization has been doing all this hard work trying to influence politics in Europe, a leaked document shows the organization's half a million dollar effort to find evidence of Russia's alleged influence in Europe's political life. The proposal reads, quote, the evidence is still rather sketchy and based more on strong allegations, hence the need to first do a proper mapping, end quote. I think that the uh, European public is under reacting and that's why I'm trying to explain to them uh, the real uh, danger uh, that uh, uh, Russia represents. From the leaked document we also see that the Soros team recognizes the problem of trying to accuse Russia of influencing politics in Europe. Naming and shaming from us is problematic. We also are in the business of channeling money into other countries for political purposes. When he says democracy, he means Sorosocracy. He doesn't mean what we might otherwise think of democracy. He wants to wreck Europe. Uh, he, that's why he's for all these, these open borders and these vast numbers of, of um, people coming in. Over the years, George Soros has been accused of meddling in internal politics of a number of countries. <laughs> trying to make the world a better place, but that's not necessarily what we accomplish. George Soros is known to have exclusive access to top U.S. policymakers. Hillary Clinton's emails show when she was Secretary of State in 2011, she received an email from George Soros with his recommendations on how to address a political crisis in Albania. A week later, the person Soros recommended to be sent as a mediator from the EU was in Albania meeting with politicians there. George Soros is now one of the top donors to Hillary Clinton's presidential campaign, and his influence appears to be stretching much further than European politics. In Washington, I'm Ganesh Chakyan, RT.